And this is The End Show. And I'm your host, Gus Summers. Good to be back with you today. That's right. We are broadcasting live from the Sunset Strip in the entertainment capital of the world, Hollywood. And we got a great in-studio guest, Mr. Michael Christopher Cooney. How you doing, guys? <laughs> I'm doing all right, my brother. How's everything? So happy to be back with you, as always. <laughs> as always. Fantastic. You know, you are one of our great guests. Always so full of energy, always smiling, always on cloud <laughs> nine. Well, it's because it's it's cause of you. I, I get to come in and see you, and I hang out with you, and you're my man. So. <laughs> wow, well, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> right, now I owe you a cup of coffee and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a big compliment, <laughs> and I'm excited for today. So much going on. This is this is an exciting, revolutionary day today. Yes, yes, because we got multimedia platform um, event happening. We are broadcasting live, yeah. which is going to be rebroadcasted for later. Right. And also, we are filming for your upcoming documentary. Yes, y you <laughs> and I are. Movie stars today. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we are in the midst of uh, Sean Connery, Gene Hackman, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Al Pacino. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Al Pacino. That's, uh, yeah. You know, what's always great is that, you know, we seem to have a lot of the same memories. You know, we enjoy the same movies. We remember. Yes. Um, Star Wars. We always talk about Star Wars yes, or yep. Star Trek. Yep. And, uh, yep. W William Shatner is our is our dad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm. Mr. Kirk is a captain. Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You know, I want to give you you know as much time as uh, possible because we're going to be doing two different things. Yes. Uh, the first half is I'm going to be interviewing you. Right. And the second half, basically, you're going to be interviewing me. The, ter the, the tables have turned, <laughs> yes. guys. I'm very excited to be interviewing you. You know, because you never get to have that opportunity to. Right. You know, you interview celebrities and stars, and wow. you know, you, you, you're you. the question man. But who's going right. to? You know, today I get to ask you the questions. Yes. So. You know, that's that's funny. Someone asked me, you know, with the beard and everything. They say, you know, you look like the guy who's uh, the most interesting man alive. And I said, yes. <laughs> But you can switch it a little bit because of what I do. I'm the most interested man alive. <laughs> <laughs> you, today you are the most interesting. All right. And, of course, we're brothers of the beard. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Every time I see yours, I, I think I, I need to trim mine down. Yours is always nice and neat. I got this, you know, just like this mountain. I, I love yours. I love, <laughs> you, you, you've been working on yours for a long time. That's a, that's a quality beard right Thank there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. But, you know, but seriously, I want to talk to you about the documentary. Yes. Uh, tell me about that because I saw the trailer. Fantastic. I know your Thank story, you. have Thank your you. book, and you're just an incredible person, an, an achiever, an overcomer. That It's a story that needs to be told. But tell me, what's going on? Thank you so much. Well, what happened was that um, my very good friend who's with us today, a filmmaker, Seth Shulman, uh, <laughs> Who's who's filming? You know, he'll be on a little bit later, so you got to meet him. Right. Uh, came to me and said, "I I want to do something about the book. I I want to I want to create a, a film about the book that that will highlight the book." And then, um, so we started doing that. And then when the when the awards happened, uh, and then it sort of snowballed up to like, well, well, it's it's a lot. It's about a lot more than the book now, and we're doing an actual film. So, uh, so it was it was kind of a, a progression of like. Starting with me and starting with talking about me to a much bigger thing now, right. um, where where we're talking about identity, we're talking about you know people's personal power and 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 where you, where that comes from, and that's what the film is about too. Um, and, and and you know it, it, it was sort of a, a work in progress, if you will. So I I called you up the other day and said I'd really like to have you as part of the film because uh, you and I are, are are very close, and you are, you understand what I'm putting across. Right. Uh, and so I really wanted you to be part of it, and uh, and we're building up from there. Yeah. And it'll be a great film. It'll it, be a great film. You know, it, it sounds like it because you you do so much, and you know one of the things I I, I admire so much is that you are in and you should be in everyone's eyes a, a normal person. You don't do anything that you're not accustomed to. Right. And. I mean, we had this conversation in the past where we had mentioned that everybody has something that they have to overcome, right. whether physically, mentally, emotionally. Right. You know, they deal with it every day. Right. And you do it smiling. 
<laughs> Thank you. And yeah, go ahead. Please. And, and you know what the thing is is like uh, a really key thing, and 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 you know the film is going to be dealing with more people in the special needs community, more people with disabilities. More, you know, I wanted it to go further on than just me, um, because I wanted to show, you know, the whole the whole idea of my company, as we've talked about before, and the idea of this film is going to be to to show people with disabilities in a different light, and to show what 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 communication means to them, what what, mu what music means to them, because music is important to me, as we know. Um, and, you know, I, I never, I, I didn't never, I didn't come to Hollywood to, to be a celebrity, to have that, that sort of success. Like, I, I didn't want to be an actor. I didn't want to be, you know, I'm, I'm directing stuff now, and, and I never thought I'd be doing that. So, um, really, I, it's just about, for me, I'm just trying to live my life and, and be happy. And, and all this stuff is happening happening around that. So I, I never really had these aspirations. I just wanted to to, to meet people who I liked and, and to live my life. And um, for for a person with a disability, that sometimes that's that's a, a challenge, you know, because they want to put you away. They want to, you know, either put you away in a way in an, in an institution or put you away in, in a home or you know. So if I wanted to be out there meeting people and having the time that I'm having, you know, I had to fight for that. And mm -hmm. and. Um, and and I think that's something that you you understand as well. So, right. you know, and yeah. that's what the film is about, and that's what my life has been about. Less than being, you know, out in Hollywood and celebrity lifestyle. I'm just trying to live my life, you know, <laughs> and have a good time. <laughs> and, and you do it in a, such an exceptional way. Thank you. <laughs> that's a good word. <laughs> <laughs> Bada bing. Thank you. <laughs> which which uh, leads perfect into. Uh, we should tell people that you have an award show which just passed, and you also have a production company. Yes. So y tell us a little bit about both of those. Yes. Well, you you, you were a wonderful guest at the at the uh, and did some of the, a lot of the media for us at the award show. I was happy to have you there, I and mean, it, it meant pleasure. so much. It meant so much to, to for you to be there, and um, you know, really, what I take away from that is because I know that we talked about it on the show right before it happened, and. And this is sort of the post, the, the post show, you know, if you will. Um, a lot of things happened that I didn't expect. Like, you know, that that group of people that that was with us is it was a very eclectic, diverse group, and and they are people who who understand what I was trying to put across, and I understand. I mean, they're family. Everybody in that room uh, at the, at the event at the at the, at the joint. Uh, was 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 like a family, uh, and, and I think David Zimmerman, who is a good friend of mine, filmmaker, put it well when he said, "You know, I look out at the audience. He was a, he was an award recipient as well, and I look at the at the audience, and I see uh, family, and that's what we were, oh. and and you were part of that. So oh, thank you, thank, thank you, you so much. Oh, my pleasure. You know, and and I think you you hit the nail on the head by saying. It was such a diverse group. Yes. I mean, you looked around. Really, it was a reflection of what. America is today. Yes. I mean, when when you see the pictures, it's like, oh, it's amazing. That's that's so that that in itself is successful to me. <laughs> yes. You know that we that I was able to get all these different people who didn't know each other right. into into one space and celebrate, you know, what it means to be, you know, who you are. Yes. And, you know, right. and and it wasn't it wasn't and 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 it may be in the future, but but this wasn't a Hollywood event. This wasn't. You know, glitz and glamour. I mean, I, I would, I would, I wouldn't be opposed to that next year. <laughs> but this, this was more. There was a lot of music and a lot of just love and and people just celebrating each other for who they are. And right. I and I like that. You know. You know, and you know, talking about the award show. You know, there were the, the award recipients. There were so many different people, indie uh, bands, uh, people who are in the industry. I know uh, your first recipient was uh, Joey Travolta. Yes, uh, yes. From Inclusion the Films. Man, <laughs> the, the, the man himself. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and you could feel the warmth and love from him. Just, yes. Just, you know, talking with him and seeing him mingle with everybody. Yes. And you can just feel that this is truly a passion of his. Right. And, 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 I, and, I, and I'll tell you something that Joey, one of the things, because as, 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 we, as we talked about before, you know, he was the person who gave me my start when when nobody else knew what to do with me and and was kind of ignoring me uh when i came out of graduate school uh J joey said you know joey was the guy who took a chance on me mm -hmm. and because he believed he believed mm -hmm. in me and he, even when i didn't even when i said i don't know if this is gonna go he said no he's good. i believe in you so then and that means so much and he's like a dad to me honestly right. so uh 
But one of the things that he he taught me so well is is no matter who you, no matter who you're around, whether it's a celebrity or or the guy at the gas station, you know, get to know them. T- t- take a second and 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 get to. And that's one of the most important things about about life that yes. I, that I've watched him do and that I do is that like you just want to get to know the people around you and have a moment yes. to, to 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 you know to connect. Right. So it's all about connection. Yes. And so and so that's that was what happened at the event as well is people who didn't know each other who were from all kinds of different walks of life uh, got a chance to connect uh, right. that was great yeah. so. I, I think you just hit the heart of the end show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great <laughs> this, this, is why, this is why we get along so well that's right <laughs> we're, we're cut from the same cloth yes. you know, so excited to have you here yes. you know, and, and, and seeing you know, the award show seeing the, the company you know, go forth and go uh, going so strong and now the documentary you know so excited you know because i know great things great yes. things always for you yes you know, we, we, yeah please and for you too I'm, oh, I'm, wow. I'm so happy to have you as part of this because you know it, it started out as uh, you know we, we did an interview together and now yes. we progressed over the years to where you, you're you're part of the family man wow. I, and i love Thank you, you for that Thank and, you. Uh, and I, and, I, and I love your show. I, 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 I love what you do. <laughs> and you likewise, know? likewise. You know, like we always said, you know, brothers from a different mother. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I love you too, my friend. Right. You know, and uh, looking forward to so much more. Well, we got to take a quick commercial break, but we got another segment. Yes. So, you know, more, to, more time to talk about the uh, documentary and everything else. Great. All right. Hey, well, this is Gus Summers, and you're listening to The In Show. And we have in-studio guest Mr. Michael Cooney. And we have another segment that we get a chance to ask him some more questions about his upcoming documentary and, of course, a few other things about him as well. See, maybe we can get a little revelation of something he's never told anybody. We'll definitely find out in our next segment. So you hang in there. We'll be right back. And this is The In Show. And I'm your host, Gus Summer. It's good to be back with you today. That's right. We are broadcasting live from the Sunset Strip in the entertainment capital of the world, Hollywood. And we have a great in-studio guest, Mr. Michael Cooney. Hey, Thank you. Guys. Round of applause. <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> I, sh- I shouldn't have that button. But <laughs> 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 I'm so happy to be with you as always, my friend. Oh, you know, glad to have you here. And... You know, again, you know, you are just the epitome of what it, it means to be, you know, a true American, a true overcomer, someone who, you know, sees adversity and just, you know, goes forward and, you know, meets it head on. Thank you. I, I like that. A true American. <laughs> that's that's, right. that's going to be my catchphrase from now on. <laughs> nice. We, we can get T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So tell me. Uh, you're going to be, uh, you were filming right now for the documentary. Yes. And we're it, filming live right now. Yes, live and recording live. It's very exciting. Recording live, we're broadcasting live. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you're also going to be debuting it uh, in in a film festival. Yes. How about that? Yes. Uh, uh, the Bakersfield Film Festival, I believe it's called uh, Outside the Box. The, the first year that they're doing it, it's put together by... By my very good friend Joey Travolta. Yes. Uh, and, and it's going to be it's going to be really uh, something special. It's coming up in mid. Uh, Seth, when is the um, November eighth? Uh, November eighth to the tenth is uh, in and the director and cameraman Seth Shulman, uh, extraordinaire, tells me <laughs> the dates because I don't know them. <laughs> um, uh, so so that's that's when that will be happening, and it's a weekend. Yeah. Uh, so, so if you're in the Bakersfield area, if you want to come out to that, that would be great. Uh, and, and it's all day. They're, they're showing films all day. There's a red carpet. Uh, Joe Montaigne will be there from Criminal Minds, who's a yes. good friend, good friend of ours. Uh, and, and and it's very special. And this uh, documentary, which is called Walking in My Sleep, um, uh, or, the, or the first the first cut of it, anyway, which is called Walking in My Sleep, which is the same as the book, right. uh, will be. Uh, Eight thirty <laughs> in the morning uh, on uh, on Saturday. So okay. so so come come and have coffee and bagels with us and 
and watch the film. <laughs> <laughs> Eight thirty. Wow. Yeah, they, they get us up early. They get us up early. <laughs> and, and, and I know you're you're a fairly early riser. Yeah, right? yeah, yes. Well, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a late guy too because you and I you and I talk you know sometimes late. Yes, late night. <laughs> late late night. So. <laughs> Some, sometimes there's only about a cat nap in there, and then you're ready to go for the next morning. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> You know, uh, you know uh, talking about the documentary, you know, are you focusing at a certain aspect of uh, of your life? Are you where does it begin? Well, it, you know, it 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 begins with the pieces from the book. Okay. Um, right. You know, you know, being in being in the hospital, uh, you know, uh, growing up and feeling like I was an alien because I didn't see anybody that was like me, so I became convinced that I was from another planet. Right. Uh, but then I discovered music, and I discovered David Bowie specifically, right. uh, the man who fell to Earth, and I was like, oh, that's that's like me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. I'm, 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 I'm an alien. So, uh, and, and, then, and then progressing from there, you know, the work that I did in the music industry, because I, I worked in the music industry for 10 years yes. before coming out to L.A., so there's, you know, parts of that as well. Right. Um, and, and then... You know, but the but the documentary will also focus on, you know, additional people, other people who are doing, who are who have disabilities, you know, that are doing remarkable things, like like for example, the band Cities End, yes. who, who were at the uh, awards with us, yes. and uh, and Toby Forrest is the lead singer, and he's in a wheelchair, right? And he's just amazing. Yeah. So uh, I would like to get him to be part of the film as well, okay. and try, in, in, in you know in addition to a whole bunch of other people right. and 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 you know my relationship with my father is in there i you know i right. i continue to try to <laughs> have has to have something going on with him so he <laughs> you know he's he, he's he's he hasn't wanted to you know to know, know me too well right. uh, growing up i didn't know him growing up and and so uh but i continue to to, to try to reach out to him so yeah. that's going to be happening in the film too so there's a lot going on. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot going on in this film. <laughs> and we have you. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, and, and I, you know, from the bottom of my heart, it, when you gave me, uh, when you called me and let me know that you wanted me to be in the film, it was like, wow, that, you know, for you, anything. Because I think uh, you know my uh, apprehension about being in front of the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I always tell you when uh, they always ask me, how'd you get into radio? And I said, well, someone a long time ago told me I had a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they may not know that you 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 are a very well put together handsome handsome dude. Oh. You know I want to tell the the listeners who may not know you you got your style there. I like it. Oh, well, you, thank you. You're an inspiration to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and coming from uh, from another male, that's very high <laughs> because you know we don't give those compliments out. That's well. right. That's right. That's true. We save those for the big time. That's you know? right. <laughs> and likewise, my friend. I mean, you know, your handsome beard, you know, your sharp eyes. Yeah. You know. Well, we're, we're we're two handsome guys on the radio. That's right. <laughs> <Ta-da-ta>. <laughs> I love it. So, so when the uh, when the documentary is uh, you know finished. Are you going to be touring it around at other film festivals? Yes, What's the process? yeah, we're we're going to be we're going to be putting it in other film festivals. We're going to be you know because it's it, it's really something that is that is happening uh, on the fly, if you will, because <laughs> right. it's like like I said, like uh, S- Seth Showman, who you meet in a second, uh, came to me and said, you know, we want to do this thing with the book, and it be in you know three to five minutes, and then three to five minutes is becoming you know a full length film. Yeah. So uh, so. I, I hope that everybody gets to, gets to see it and and uh, yes, and and, and, I, and I think it'll be great because it's it's a it's a film that I've been wanting to do and not not, not necessarily about me right. uh, but it's a film that I wanted to do um, for a long time because it because to have a disability basically what it what it means is that you're sort of in a in a cocoon you're in, you're in, you're in a in a shell and right. and and everybody regardless of the disability whether it's autism or cerebral palsy like I have or or down syndrome there's an effort to try and connect with the rest of the world right. uh, yes. and, and step outside of that, that of that shell of that shell that you're in right. um, and, and this, this is what that film is gonna what the film is going to be about how people reach out and try to connect with each other because that, that's the story I always wanted to, t- to tell and that's the that's the story you know the story of my life you know right. <laughs> if you right. will so and 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 it's it, you know it's kind of improbable for you and I because 
I came in to do the interview with you. We did not know that we were going to connect as well as we have, and we're we're brothers now. You yes, know? So yes. That's a perfect example, and that's why I wanted to have you as part of the film, is because who who knew that we were going to have a connection like that? You yes, know? yes, so, absolutely. It, isn't it strange? Uh, you, you 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 go through life, and then you meet somebody. And you just click with them for whatever reason. Yes. And, it, and it's beyond that you like Star Wars or Captain Kirk. It's <laughs> yeah. like there, there, there is right. a, a, that, that connection of true friendship and, right. um, you know, intimacy where you get to know each other, know each other's pains and struggles. Yes. And yes. Like, it, and, and as a person with a disability, as a person who was labeled as different, yes. you know, I, I'm, I, I en- enjoy, you know, our time and, and, and really connecting with with my other really close friends because, you know, when I was when I was younger, I, I spent a lot of time on my own, right? Uh, and 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 did desperate, that desperate to to sort of reach out and connect with someone. Mm-hmm. And I and I think there's there's good aspects to that too because I wouldn't be a writer otherwise. I wouldn't be in my head as much as as I needed to be because <laughs> right. you know, I I wrote my friends back back when I was little. I wrote friends for myself. Now now I get to have real ones. No, so. yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, very good point because you can see how important it is to have that quiet time. People always say, yes. "I don't have quiet time," right. and here you turned it into something good. Right. You read, you write, uh, you wrote, you allowed your imagination to you know run wild, right. and here you yes. are, and it's serving you well. Oh yes, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. So you know, going back a little bit. I did want to ask you. You know, what are your uh, what are some of your favorite books that you had a chance to read? You know, growing up, what yeah, a couple that influenced you. You know, uh, there, there were there were so many. Uh, uh, you know, S. Scott Fitzgerald. I mean, I, I know that that's you know not that's an odd, <laughs> no, no. odd one, but for, great for, for, one. for some reason, I had a huge connection with F. S. Scott Fitzgerald stuff yes. and the Great Gatsby for you know, and then the, the film was the film, and I think that's separate from the book. Right. Uh, did you get to see that? No? Uh, I only saw the original. Oh, okay. I haven't seen the, the new the one. Robert Redford. Right. I, I love the Robert Redford. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know about this new right. version with the rapping and the hip hop and yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, Filmmaking's a little different. But yeah. but, but, it, but it's separate. So you know, for some reason, I had a, a huge connection with that book. That was right. a, that was my favorite book for The Great Gatsby was my favorite book for a long time. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Just connect. And, and you know what? Uh, Flann- <laughs> Flannery O'Connor also. Nice. Uh, nice. Was was just great. Right. And great influence on me. And, and I know that those are a little odd. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Not at all. But, uh, you know when when you what's fascinating is when you uh, find someone who reads, they read the authors that you know that other readers know who they are uh-huh. you know maybe the, the people who don't get around to read as much really don't know who they are it's like oh I, this person this person oh i know what you're talking about oh that's a great book oh that's a great <laughs> author H- how about poets were there a few poets that really or uh, poems that stuck out oh, for you? Uh, e. e cummings oh nice e. e cummings was huge and, nice. and i have to say this my mom uh, you know uh has had a tremendous influence on me as a because my mom's a writer right and for the longest time I didn't want to do, you know, when I was little, I didn't want to do a cheat because that's my mom's thing, you know. I, right. I'll do something completely different. I'll go and work in, in finance, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, but 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 uh, she, I had the genes for it. Yes. And, and also, you know, she read to me her stuff. All, so was, so we, 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 we would read together all the time. We would read, you know, nice. Shakespeare stuff. Like we would take the parts of, of Shakespeare. Nice. Play. This, is, this is what I did for fun when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <Nothing> <laughs> wrong with that. <laughs> you know? I'm reading Shakespeare. So we, we, we would Fantastic. act out Shakespeare in the, in the kitchen. Yeah. But, you know, my mom, everything that she wrote, um, yes. she read to me. And I, and I, and I got, a, you know, a sense of rhythm. Uh, of writing from her and, nice. and so much from her right. uh, you know if she was sitting here she would you know laugh at me but she you know she's been a tremendous uh, you know influence on me of course but you right. know not not just as, a, as my mom but as the first writer that i ever heard right uh, that was my mom oh, so that's <laughs> you know. fantastic you know it, it, and i and poetry it's kind of a lost art now but there are poems throughout the ages yes. that can inspire you yes oh, one of my favorites is um Dylan Thomas. Oh yes. Yeah. Do not go gentle in that good night. Yes. Rage, rage at the dying of the light. I, I, I love it because it was about his uncle who was dying, and he was telling him, you know, fight to the last breath. Yes. You know, do not, you know, just go quietly into the no, you know, rage. Yes. And I think what a great little mantra. You know, for, I, for life. And I and I often you probably think you have the same experience, but that's one of the ones. 
that you, you think of in, in your head, you like that you carry that in your life. You bet. Uh, because you bet. I, I think about that often. Yes. You know, that one. And, uh, you know, one of the things I tell everyone, it's like, you know, nowadays we have so much out there that, we can, that can inspire us. And I had mentioned to somebody, I said, a movie, a great movie, mm-hmm. a great book, a great poem, mm-hmm. they're out there when they are done and we're watching them. They can inspire us and remember those moments. Right. Because right. It's, it's from somebody. And they wrote it, and they filmed it for a particular yes. reason, or wrote it down. And I think that's exactly what your documentary is going to do. Yeah, well, I, hope so. I, 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 <laughs> I hope so. Thank you. Absolutely, Michael. We've got to take a quick break again. You know, thank you for coming in. You know, thank and, you. Uh, allow me I, I, to be a part of this. To, I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah, fantastic. Hey, well, this is Gus Summers, and you're listening to the In Show. We have in studio guest Mr. Michael Cooney, and in our next segment, that's right. I'm going to be in the hot seat, so we'll see how that turns out. I'll put on my best show for my good friend, Michael Cooney. But hang in there. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. And this is The In Show. And I'm your host, Gus Summers. Good to be back with you today. That's right. We are broadcasting live, and we are also filming in studio for an upcoming documentary featuring my good friend, Michael Cooney. And we have a wonderful guest, our filmmaker right behind the camera, who's going to be talking to us now, Mr. Seth Showman. Gentlemen, thank you. How's it going? I'm going pretty good. This is a revolutionary day, guys. (laughs) Yes. Because we're we're turning the tables on you now. Yes, it is. You are the guest. (laughs) And and, and, and let me just introduce... uh, my good friend uh, Seth Shulman, he's the filmmaker on this project, uh, and he came to me and said, you know, I, w- I want to do this, and then we kind of exploded from there. Perfect. Uh, you, you know what I am going to do is twist this. There you go. Get no, that no, for I have it. to say, I love your, your studio setup. It's very, I, you know, these places, these spaces are always intimate, but, <laughs> but they, all the, all the ones I've been to, like all the spaces like this, they, they, they look so so slick and modern and this one looks like you know this is like somebody this Vintage. is like this has like a home like a living room feel to it it's more comfortable you know other places it's like you're walking in on other other spaces like it's like you're walking in on someone's holy ground right and this is like you're walking into someone's home and i really i really it's it's more it feels much more comforting no, you know, yeah, well, thank you. That. you know, and, that, and that's one of the reasons that, that I really like it. You know, we have a couch, and you know, it's very comfortable chairs, and you know, it's inviting. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's what that's the feeling I try to yes, uh, yeah. have for everybody. Fantastic. Well, I'll stop talking, so I'll let you guys yes. uh, take it from here. So, so, thank you, for, first of all, Gus, for being a part of the film. I'm I'm extremely excited that you're going to be in it with you know with me. We're, we're movie stars. So. <laughs> yes. Uh, w- w- let's let's start with you. You you intimated this earlier. Right. Uh, what was what was the idea behind the in show? The idea behind the in show. Oh, good question. I don't get that a lot because I don't do this a lot. <laughs> uh, you know the the big concept for the show was you know a, a few of us got together and wanted to start a media company, and our perspective was always we want to get to know people. And it's not just, you know, let me ask you the same questions. You know, it, it was always about what is it that you do and why is it that you do it? And we want to be able to spotlight that. Now, why? Why would we want to spotlight that? Because each of us thought that every person is important and every person has a story. And I personally love to talk to people, you know, just get to know them. And as you, talk with everyone they start opening up it's a natural process if they know you're really interested in them they will really talk to you if you're just going around the red carpet for instance um, I've loved movies always have so a lot of the individuals I see I know who they are I know movies they've been in I've most likely read about them so I'm able to ask them a particular question which is wow this person's just not reading off notes he actually knows a little bit about me, and which gets them engaged uh, engage in, the, in the conversation. I'll give you an example real quick. I was on the um, Iron Man 3 red carpet, and I was uh, looking down uh, the red carpet, and there was 
uh, Ben Kingsley, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is a little further away, but right in between was William Sadler. William Sadler, he's one of those actors that you know who he is. He's been in tons of work, uh, tons of projects. And I said, he's the one I want to talk to. <laughs> Why? That's, <good>. that's, <laughs> that's, just, that's great. And he came over. I go, William Sadler. I remember you in, in the hot spot. I remember you. And then he's all, dude, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you, 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 know, you know my career. And, we, and we're on the red carpet for almost like five minutes talking to William Sadler. That's great. And again, it was just, you know, I could have talked to anybody. But the, for me, that's the interview I wanted. That's, that's great. That's great. I guess that's kind of a long answer for you. No, that's a great answer. No. <laughs> that's a great answer. Um, he definitely had, you know, everybody Everybody else that was there. I mean, they were getting quite a bit of attention themselves. That, that's right. You know, here's William Sadler, and he's, he's you know, he, he, his work is, you know, you, there are people that know just what Robert Downey Jr. Jr. has done recently, or or Ben Kingsley, but William Sadler, like that's something special. Yes, that's, that's somebody special. It is, and that, that and that that sort of brings me to the next thing. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> this is why we work we work well together. Wonderful together. Batman and Robin. <laughs> um, you know, because the the film as it as it's coming together now is about people uh, who that the idea that everybody has a voice and everybody has yes. an exceptional ability. Uh, yes. that you might not know about. Um, right. uh, what was, I, I wonder, cause, because there are so many things that we have in common yes. from our childhood, yes. what was growing up like for you? Because uh, for me, as we know, it was it was a lot of isolation and a lot of, like, you know, I felt like an alien. Right. Uh, what was growing up like for you that maybe brought you to this point? Well, you know, it, I had a, I don't want to say I leave it to Beaver um, upbringing, but, you know, parents, siblings, uh, lived in a great neighborhood. One of the things uh, for me personally, and I still talk to uh, many of these uh, uh, gentlemen, I had mentors in my life who just happened to be neighbors who were there, who were young, who maybe didn't have children. So, you know, us kids who were in the neighborhood would go over and talk to them. One of the things that I found fascinating, it's not that it was a military neighborhood, but a lot of the men were in the military. So... They had this, this strength, these morals, these, these values, where you would go over and they would be mowing their lawn or in the garage fixing the car or doing something, and they would show you and they would bring you in and they would talk to you. And I think that had a lot to do with me learning to listen mm -hmm. and learning to appreciate what someone had to say because I, I got stories, most of the men, uh, well, all the men were from Vietnam, so I got all these stories from Vietnam. It's like, wow. This is amazing. And that's something I would take back with me. I was also a reader, enjoyed reading. But also one of the big things, I loved movies. My father was a gadget guy. If it was new, he had to have it. So as soon as the VCRs came out, <laughs> he had to have it. So then we'd go to all the video stores and get memberships. Because some places had the movies that other places didn't. So there was a love there for movies. Great. So all this, I think, just you know, put together as I got older. You know, we do something different all the time. But there came a moment, it's like, okay, what do I want to do? And when, we, when I was talking to a few others about the media company, I said, that's perfect. I love TV. I love movies. TV was another one. So, you know, we yeah. grew up at the same time. So we remember Magnum P.I. We yeah. remember Simon and Simon, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Remington Steele, all these, you know, these great shows. Moonlighting. <laughs> yeah. You know, in the 70s, you know, Wonder Woman, Charlie's Angels. Yeah. You know, they, <laughs> I don't know. We've talked about this, loves of our lives yeah. there. Yeah. But, uh, you know, all this, I think, had an influence on me. And it just, there came a moment where it was a time of reflection. I have all this how can i bring it now all into one place and have it benefit others mm -hmm. and so my biggest strength out of all that i felt was listening and i said you know what why don't we do this one thing as part of the media company which is you know the in show mm -hmm. and go from there let's just start doing what we naturally do listen to people and boom here we are and, and so what what does 
diversity and and the way that America should be. Right. The idea of America being diverse. What does that mean to you? You know what? It, it, it's fascinating because my neighborhood was very eclectic. You know, we had all walks of life and all manners of education and you know all, a variety of background. But the one thing, and I think this is what it had to do with uh, people being perhaps in the military and also the time, they were very American. Regardless of the background, it was very American. And it was, you know, how great this country is, you know, what great opportunities uh, we have. And I got that from so many different people that my eyes were colorblind, basically. When I see somebody, I just see Michael. I see Seth. I don't see anything outside that. And I found that most people label themselves. And once you label yourself, other people will label you. It was uh, Descartes, and, and I love this saying by Descartes. He says, don't judge me, because by judging me, you label me. And once we put a label on somebody, we keep them in that box. So one of the things that we, when we talked about, you know, being great American, it's about the freedom. Don't tread on me. Right. That is the big aspect that comes from what we where we live and so if you give that to somebody if I label you as f being free free will mm -hmm. have at it D do what you want wow doesn't that brighten someone's eyes doesn't it's like well I can be anybody you, know, you sure can you know when I was a kid you could be president if you wanted to right. you know right. <laughs> you know now it's different you can be a hip-hop artist or a movie star or whatever <laughs> it is but again it's or um, you know a filmmaker or someone who starts their own you know, production company right. have at it you want to do it please right. I think that's that's a strength right. that, you know you know I try to cultivate and, and you know, bring out of others as well that's 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 great man. That's, <laughs> Thank uh, you. Um, because what what I found is, and I, I guess it's, I'm really curious to see how you avoided this, is that um, for me it was like somebody was always trying to put me in that box. Yes. Uh, and that maybe that's one of the reasons I appreciate you you so much is because you don't you don't have those boxes. Right. And I think that you know I, I grew up with in the, in the 80s it was like we have to be able to de define what it is, put it in a box, and and you have to be like everybody else. So there's this tremendous pressure on me when I was growing up to, to not be the guy who, who was disabled. I'm not, I had to find ways to be like everybody else. Um, yes, yes. How did you deal with those? Because I think we all face those. Oh, yes. And, and we all have to overcome those and say, yes. And yes. say I'm going to be my own man now. I'm going to be who I am. Right. How, what was that process like for you? Yeah, like everybody, you go through bouts of loneliness, um, bouts of you know, why doesn't anyone like me? You know, why am I not in the same activities? For instance, I did a few uh, activities in school, but my love since I was a little kid was the martial arts. Really? Oh, I love the martial arts. To this day, I love the martial arts. And I would wonder, oh, why am I not on the baseball team? You know, try out and, and play. And, but my mind would be on, you know, I need to go practice. I need to go do my, my kicks and my punches and my stretches and I found that well you don't have to follow the stream you don't have to do what everyone else is doing and then you start cultivating other friendships you love Bruce Lee oh, I love Bruce Lee I, lo <laughs> I love Kung Fu oh, I love Kung Fu dude oh. and, and you and you start developing other friends because there are other streams and this is something that you don't get in high school in their schooling, usually it's football, basketball, baseball, wrestling. My my English teacher used to be a wrestling coach, so if you catch that one. Um, and uh, one one of my great mentors, actually in high school, was actually a, a baseball coach. Mm. And talking about a per, someone that you connect to, and why he singled me out, and we became friends. Saw him years later after school, and as we were good friends, mm. you know why. You know, did he see something? You know, I don't know. I was a you know, tall, lanky kid and, you know, what have you. Uh -huh. But what I try to do now is let people know, look, we are not limited to certain streams of life. There are many more, and especially as we go older, because now we're boundless. In high school, you have to be, you know, the, the student, the athlete, or, you know, what have you. But as you get older, when you get out of school, college as well, you're like, I can be anything. I can go anywhere. But everything is about putting you in a box. School, and I always tell everyone, it, it, 
that's the same thing is that school seems to be coming more and more like a trade school yes college doesn't matter what college you go to what profession it's you are limited to that field if you want to be a doctor you're only solely a doctor if you are an engineer solely an engineer right. you may have other interests but you're only this thing it's not like times of you know michelangelo or you know he was a great artist and this is what he did because he was born to do this or then you have leonardo da vinci who did everything right there where are you but choose through your free will to be what you want to be you know because other people will guide you and tell you what, what are you doing <laughs> right, right, right. and those are your intimates those are the ones that you you listen to most people are saying yeah you're crazy uh, you know who are you to me <laughs> but to the intimates that you know you know mike gus you know you're slightly you know slightly bent you should think about going this way mm -hmm. you know i'll think about it and you know what thank you you're right, right. you know and i fixed myself so now it's growing up as you grow up you you deal with those bouts of loneliness through music mm -hmm. through movies through friendships mm -hmm. you know that help guide you and now that you're grown i think everyone needs to take a moment of reflection and say all this that i've experienced how can i put it together and then bloom again there's nothing wrong with blooming you can bloom over and over again mm -hmm. how many people are going back you know i'm 70 and I'm going to school. Well, I just read an article about a lady who's, what, 92, 95? Who just graduated from college? <laughs> beautiful. You know, beautiful. So, you know, to answer your question, it's you take your moments, take your punches, take your licks, you know, and stand back up. <laughs> you know, but the bas basically, it's, you know, you don't have to stand tall, right. but you do have to stand up. Right. That's, that, that is so well said. Oh. The, 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 now we're getting to the, to the <laughs> reasons why we, you and I are such good friends. Yes, you know? absolutely. I, absolutely. We, we, we have a little bit of time? Or we yeah, just, you know what? Uh, yeah, keep going. we still got a few more minutes. Okay, I, I want to turn things over to, to the director of the... Do you have anything that you want to... He, he's, he's hiding behind the camera again. <laughs> yes. I, I try to get him <laughs> out from behind the camera. Do you want to talk about the film and, and, and any questions for Gus or anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What, with what you were saying with uh, you know growing up and being put inside a box what, what I found is you know with me growing up obviously I'm younger than Michael and younger than you so but but things, just by a little but, bit but things <laughs> but things never you know like people never change in that in that area there's always someone there's always going to be someone who who puts you inside a box and what I found, you know, I, I I grew up with a similar experience as Michael. You know, being being not with, but without. You know, obviously not having a disability, but not being able to uh, being being bullied and being you know being uh, uh, shut out from society for for trying to simply live my life the way I wanted to mm -hmm. and and. I found is you know everybody's inside of a box and the people who who are trying to put keep you in a box are the ones who are trying to get out of their box. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, right. Um, they're trying to to tell everyone else that they are not in a box by by putting the person who who Other appears weaker uh, yeah, yeah, putting the person who appears weaker than them. Yes. Inside a box. Right. And you know me, I I was uh, I wasn't really growing up. I wasn't labeled because I didn't. I was one of those people who had no label. I didn't exist. <laughs> nice, <laughs> right? Didn't right. Exist. You're just going by. <laughs> <laughs> um, Understand? I, I was a shadow creeping <laughs> around behind behind closed doors. <laughs> right. Understand? Understand? And and what what you know through through. You know, trying to socialize with people, you you were able to socialize with someone through a, through a common interest, right? Through through uh, martial arts, which is definitely is is now obvious. Now it's like a universally recognized right. skill, and maybe back then it wasn't it wasn't right. so. Yeah. Um, for me, it was I I had I always had trouble communicating. Right. Um, and and I communicated better with the camera in my hand. Yeah. And nice. and that's how I was able to socialize is by putting the camera on someone and documenting 
them documenting them as they were right. and as they were in life um, and and through the lens they were they were presented as themselves there was no box right. around them other than the frame of <laughs> very nice very nice but, there, but it, the cam you know cameras they show truth yes right like, there's there's no hiding who you are through a camera right um and 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 that's what that's what i love about that's what i loved about you know what i love about interviewing you and interviewing you know, filming Michael and filming, you know, I always have a camera because right. I, I love to see, t I love to bring out that truth in, in, in the world. I love to just see things just happen naturally and just step back and let it happen, not try to interfere and, right. and try to document it Beautiful. in, in the way that, okay. in, in that way. And, right. um, you know, I, that, that's what, I wanted to do with the document. What's why I want to do with this documentary is I want to show truth, a truthful present uh, uh, representation of someone who has a disability who simply wants to live their life right. the way that they want. Yes. And and um, and you know showing you guys you know showing your natural connection that you guys have I mean it's that's a beautiful thing to present to 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 an audience is seeing something like that happen wow. Yeah. so wow thank you uh, I have tears in my eyes <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> and, 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 and I think uh, Seth you're, you're, uh, you're summing it up beautifully I mean everything you said was beautiful you ha everyone has something that they're able to connect with someone else. We have media. I have the radio. You know, Mike has his, the, his media company. You have the camera. And here we are, in truth, you know, talking about what's making, what makes us tick. And this is what I try to do with the show, to bring that out and present it to other people so they can say, boy, Mike, he's, he's just like me. Seth, he's just like me. William Sadler is just like me. Right. You know, I treat everyone, if anyone who sees me on the red carpet or has been in the studio, I treat everyone the same. And that is one of our main focuses, is to treat everyone the same, regardless of who they are. Someone I interviewed a lot, Shane Black, we become friends. Uh -huh. Treat him the same. Um, John Savage, another actor. <laughs> treat him the same and th and that's and that's yeah. what and that's kind of what we've always tried to um, be our focus here that we treat everyone the same that's great we only got a couple more minutes um, one of the last things I want to say is this is that regardless of who you are black white gay straight male female a putz is a putz doesn't matter. <laughs> That's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> and so the reason I say that is that you, you can be a good guy or bad guy regardless of who you are. But the last thing uh, I want to say is remember, just remember the words of Descartes. Don't judge me. By judging me, you label me. So be free, my friends. Be free, my friends. There you go. There's the most interesting. <laughs> <in my life. laughs> okay, fantastic, guys. We got to wrap it up. It's the end of our show. Thank you so much, guys. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hopefully, you got everything that you needed. If not, we can always do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like. I kind of like this being on camera thing. I guess. <laughs> Great. You look good. Oh, fantastic. One last thing. Is, yes, uh, please. Uh, as far as the premiere scene, yes. the film. Yes. And it's and it's debut uh you can go on uh, bakersfieldfilmfest.com nice that's how uh, you'll find all the information you need nice i know it's early it's showing early in the morning but they right. will be showing stuff right throughout the entire day so it's definitely going to be a wake up to michael you can come down and, meet, <laughs> and hang out with us which uh, is yeah. always fantastic <laughs> guys again thank you very much Appreciate it. You come in. Absolutely. Hey, well, this is Gus Summers, and you're listening to the intro. And we had in studio guests Mr. Michael Cooney and Mr. Seth Showman. And of course, you can visit us at theintro.com where you'll be able to catch this interview and everything that they're doing. So, ladies and gentlemen, of course, Gus has left the building. <laughs>